What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video from yours truly, The Knights of Horror. It's been a while since I've been behind the camera just to kind of talk to you guys. I know lately I've been doing the podcast, East vs. West, um, stuff like that, but I just wanted to kind of sit down with you guys and just talk to you guys for a little bit because it, it has been a while. Um, today's video we're going to be talking about a leaked lineup. Uh, I've received two different leaked lineups um, and I won't say who I got them from just to protect their identities, but... Um, I received two different leak lineups and I want to know, I want to talk about them, I want to kind of give my thoughts about them and just kind of see where potentially we can probably get this year and what might not come this year. Uh, before we even get any further in this video, I want to just put out there, I do not condone leaking. I actually just found these in forums and I was just honestly browsing around just seeing what they had. So I don't condone leaking. I don't think it's cool at all. I'm just passing down the news that I have received or I have seen. Um, if you guys do not want to see a potential leaked lineup for HHN, uh, click off this video now. But if you guys are curious as to what may come to the event, uh, go ahead and stay tuned and we're going to talk a little bit about that. Again, nothing's confirmed until John Murdy says it's confirmed, so take that with a grain of salt. Um, take all these mazes with a grain of salt, actually, because... Some of them, yeah, have been announced, and then some of them are still, uh, they have not been announced yet, so um, this is honestly just a leaked lineup of someone who put that out there. We don't know for certain if these mazes are going to come, but I have two different ones. I want to read off them what I thought, of course, uh, might be coming to the event, so. Welcome to the Madhouse! <laughs> We're gonna start with the first one uh, that I received. Um, this is the first lineup. So it's Stranger Things, obviously. It's gonna be Soundstage 29, where it was last year. Um, they have actually came out and confirmed that is a true. That so that was the first maze announcement, and they said it was gonna be returning to Soundstage 29. So I'm very much looking forward to season two and a little bit of season three. So that should be pretty fun. Um, the next one, it just has question marks. I guess it's not relevant enough, but it's gonna be at the uh, FDTD location. I'm trying to remember where that's at. Oh, anyway, um, it's, I guess it's not relevant, but I guess uh, the next one in the Waterworld queue is supposed to be Rob Zombie's Halloween. Now, I know Murdy did say he wanted to do all the Halloween movies that uh, he can. It's always been kind of a dream of his to do, so I wouldn't be surprised if we got a version of Halloween. I don't know if it's going to be Rob Zombie's version, but I wouldn't be surprised if we got a Halloween at the event this year. The next one, which also has been announced, is going to be in the uh, Metro set. Um, in the back lot where I think um, Krampus was one year and the first purge was last year which is uh, Universal Monsters Frankenstein meets the Wolfman um, that has been confirmed that has been announced and I'm very much looking forward to that maze that's a continuation from Universal Monsters so that should be fun uh, the next one is the Parisian Courtyard I think that's where they're gonna put Holidays in Hell um, I think that was confirmed Holidays in Hell is going in the Parisian Courtyard and um, yeah, it's going to end with a scare zone, like how much how Universal Monsters did last year. Uh, and it's going to be Holidays in Hell. Um, and they're doing a bunch of different themes throughout the thing. They're going to have postcards leading up into the next holiday. They're supposed to be like a very twisted uh, run on them. So I'm very excited for that one. Uh, the next one uh, in the 747 tent is going to be Ghostbusters. Um, that has been heavily rumored to come to the event for a couple years now. Uh, I would love to see a Ghostbusters maze, but... It'd be kind of a challenge to do in Murdy. I know Murdy's up for the challenge. Um, it's it's because it's a comedy kind of movie mixed with the the horror elements. So the comedy part would be cool. It wouldn't be the first time they haven't done a comedy maze. They did this is the end one year, and I know I think Orlando did Shaun of the Dead one year, so it wouldn't be the first thing. Um, in the Mummy queue is rumored to be Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Now this has been heavily rumored to come to the event since last year when Orlando had the scare zone, um, and Murdy teased it a little bit at Midsummer Scream when he said. Uh, you know, you know, don't take it with a grain of salt. You know, Orlando did uh, trick or treat scare zone last year, and this year we or last year we got um, the the maze and the scare zone. So this one has been heavily rumored to come to the event this year. It has not yet been announced, or if it is going to be announced at all this year for the event. But uh, if it does, this is probably going to be honestly my favorite one. So we'll see what happens. 
And the last one, and it's a new location they're, they're, they're going to probably try to play with this year in the Tram Garage. Um, that's, a, that's a brand new location. I've never even seen that done. I know where that's at. That's actually when you, if, if it's the one I'm thinking, it's the one uh, when you get off the tram uh, at the exit. If you look over the bushes, there's a garage where they do maintenance on the trams and stuff. I think that's the location that they're talking about. But it's rumored to be the thing um, in this league lineup. Uh, so the thing has also been a maze that's been rumored to be coming to the event for years. I know it was on the last year's league lineup, uh, and it was heavily rumored to be in the Waterworld queue. I've been waiting for the thing to come. John Carpenter's the thing, only because I would love to see that maze. I know they tried to do the thing, or they did do the thing in 2013, no, 2011 on the reboot. Um, and I would love to see John Carpenter's version. John Carpenter's version of the thing is phenomenal. I think it's probably the best version of the thing yet. So that's one leak lineup that I received. Uh, I'm going to share with you the other leak lineup, which has some similar um, it has some similar mazes into it, but I think there's a couple other um, things that are different, uh, like one or two mazes that are different. But uh, here we go. Of course, Stranger Things and Soundstage 29. And here's a, one of, uh, here's a new one that's for the uh, FDTD area. Um, Creep Show. So Stephen King did a graphic novel called Creep Show, where it has a bunch of different um, has a bunch of different uh, like skits and stuff like that. It's like a compilation of different horror stories. They're each about. It's actually a movie. They're each about like 15 to 20 minutes long, um, and that'd be pretty cool. It's like a little anthology series, so that'd be pretty cool. As you go through the maze, you see different scenes from the uh, the movie and the graphic novel and stuff like that. So I'd be very down for a creep show maze, uh, especially if it's a Stephen King related property. I'd be down for that. Um, returning since 2000, I think 2011, and that was the last time it was there uh, in the Waterworld queue, House of a Thousand Corpses. Now, um, this would be a good move on their part, only because I know they're making Three from Hell, which is the third movie in the Devil's Rejects trilogy, uh, or the House of a Thousand Corpses trilogy. Um, so this would be a good way to hype up that movie, uh, just to get you going from the start as to what this, who this family is, how sinister they are, and stuff like that. This would be a good, uh, good way to promote Three from Hell, only because it would hype you up for the movie, like I said. I would very much look forward to seeing this coming back, because I did enjoy this maze, and I would love to see it now as I'm older. Uh, the last time I actually went in that maze was the very first year at Horror Nights I went was in 2011, and it was a fantastic maze. It brought the movie to life. Uh, Metro Tent, of course, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, Holidays in Hells in the Parisian Courtyard, the 747 Tent is Ghostbusters, uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space is the Mummy Q, and of course, this one was, uh, this is the, the Tram Garage again, which was rumored the thing in the last leak lineup, but this one is saying it's going to be a Mexican original, so the only one... One of the only ones that comes to mind, only because of the movie success this year, is, of course, The Curse of La Llorona. But they can probably do their own take on it like they've done in the past. Of I think in 2011 was the last time, or 2012, too. Uh, the Curse of La Llorona has been at, uh, is no stranger to the event. So to, for that to bring that back, especially with all the hype around the movie and stuff like that, that would be interesting. I would like to see that. Um, but that is, of course, the leak lineups that I have received for both uh, for bo uh, both lead lineups I received for this year's event. This is covering only Hollywood's event, so I can't be certain for Orlando's event. But uh, like I said, take these league lineups with a grain of salt. These aren't confirmed. These aren't true. Some people, I think, just they have a good sense of guessing or they may have saw like a lineup of some sort that was um, slated to come out, but then stuff changes at the last minute. Who knows how they get these league lineups. But nonetheless, guys, the only one who can confirm these is John Murdy. Um, I'm just passing down the news. I don't condone leaking. I don't think it's a, a good idea to do, so don't do it. But I'm just passing down the news. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video and all my HHN content, all my horror content, be sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up to let, you, to let me know that you guys enjoy the content. My name is Anthony from the Knights of Horror. Make sure to follow me on social media, at Knights of Horror for Twitter and at the Knights of Horror for Instagram. Uh, where you guys stay active on when I upload and stuff like that. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.